gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the spider skin. <sighs> Spiders shed their skins, they disappear. So, where the heck is it? That is right above my bed. bed without finding it crawling on me <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's not anywhere else in this van it could be literally anywhere oh my gosh ah! Ah! Oh, <sighs> I need to change my underwear this morning because it's well look where my bag is against the wall that means it could be behind the bag so I guess I'm not changing them today like two more days before I see Joel. I can't let it defeat me, and I will not, will not wake up in the middle of the night to that creature crawling on me. You know what? I cannot deal with this right now. I need coffee, and then I will make a battle plan, and I will come back and be stronger than I was, and I will wear shoes. All right, coffee. First step. Plan of attack, peppermint oil. Spiders hate peppermint oil. Let's get a five gallon jug of it. Drench the man. Oh, I'm soaking my sheets in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time to gear up. Let's go. Oh, my bed is gonna smell like peppermint tonight. <laughs> oh, I tell you. I'm telling you, that spider skin is just up there to taunt me, isn't it? Just saying, I'm here and working somewhere in this van. So I've got this tool and this going to help us. I mean, it could even, look at this. See that? Wax pretty good. And it's gonna help us get that skin off of my uh, skylight. We shall defeat this monster. I'm telling you, creatures never defeat humans. At least not this one. Ah, oh, it's gonna like go right on me. This is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. Abort, okay. So the trick is this. We have to somehow get that skin off without it falling on top of me or falling on my bed. Any engineers out there? Help! We're gonna go to Mama Sue and ask for a broom, okay? You can inside, inside. No, uh, do you have a broom? I will defeat you. Okay, that's done. Got the spider skin out of the van. So I just had a terrifying thought. It's probably behind my hat or inside it. That means I have to touch it. Thank God for gloves. That's not good. It is definitely not in the blue hat. Okay, so I'm still in trouble. I have to take all the bedding out. Why can't you just abandon that? My job would be over. I'd be done. This stupid game. Where are you, you little beast? Golly gracious. More than likely, this thing is just in the bed sheets. 
And I'm gonna find out that I was sleeping with that all night long. Oh my lord. Items that have been marked clean go there. Mark. Okay. You take the glasses from me and uh, uh what why do you need the glasses? Protection. Could be anywhere. Uh yes, it could be anywhere. I'm sorry you have arachnophobia, <laughs> but the worst, the absolute worst that you're gonna get from any spiders around here is you're gonna get like a mosquito bite if it bites you. That's the worst. There's multiple ways a spider can kill you, and let me name just a few. Necrophobia. I think that's the word. You're so stressed out by your fear that you end up falling asleep. Now, imagine this. Spider shows up at the wheel while I'm driving. I fall asleep, crash the vehicle. Dead, okay? You could die by it crawling into your nose orifices and choking you to death again. Yeah dead spider crawls on you and bites you you get a spider bite but you're allergic you didn't know you were allergic but you are you don't have an epipen because you didn't know you were allergic to spiders and dead spiders can kill you and everyone doesn't think they can they say oh the worst that can happen is it just crawls on you as a little bite no not when you're scared of them when you're scared of them anything can happen well he just took my glasses well, I mean, they were technically his glasses, but I am now down one more feature of protection. This is really not an easy task. I am not having any luck. At this rate, I'm gonna go to bed and still not know where this thing is. In the song, I don't know where it is. I will die. Honestly, this is taking my whole day. I am not gonna be able to find it before I have to go to call. <laughs> That's unhelpful attitude. Unhelpful attitude. We gotta keep it positive. It's actually making me feel a little bit better because ultimately what it is telling me is I don't find it in the bed is it probably wasn't in the bed with me last night. Which is a very reassuring thought because even though, you know, I didn't know it was sleeping with me last night, if it was, I would hate to cheat on Joel with a spider. Oh, well, thanks. Well, we are down to the base sheet and still no appearance of this hideous creature. Okay, it could totally be in my clothes because there's actually a mouse have gap between my cabinet and just look. You see that gap? I think it could be in my cabinet. <laughs> Gosh, that means I have to go through all my clothes, shake out all my clothes and then put them back or something, you know? Like a slop, okay? I get it. This is good, it's forcing me to clean up. Okay, it is not in my cabinet with my clothes, which should make me feel better. But, unfortunately, it just means it's somewhere else. Where? That's the question. Where could it be? This is karma. Oh, karma. Because yesterday when I went to call, one of my castmates found a spider in the shower. So she took a jar and a piece of paper, captured the thing, and put it away. By spider, we're talking monster. It was huge. And there's another castmate who is also terrified of spiders. Like me, has arachnophobia. But I was back there, so I said, Oh, you know what you should do, Heather? You should totally put it on Nathan's desk. We were gonna leave it on Nathan's desk. Alvina, our assistant stage manager, said, no, you cannot leave it on Nathan's desk. That's me, so we put it outside. But, full karma, because I was willing to let Heather put it on Nathan's desk, even though I know full well that he has arachnophobia and it would scare the bejeebers out of him. Now, look at me, okay? I'm searching for a spider that seems to be non-existent because I found a spider skin in my van. That means the spider is definitely around, we just don't know where. Full karma. Okay, you may have guessed it. I never found the spider. Two hours of searching, no spider. At the end of the day, I'm gonna go back into that van after call today and realize that I might still have a spider as company in my van. If I ever complain about being alone again, remind me that this could be the outcome. God sends spiders to accompany me. I gotta live life, brush my teeth, actually change my underwear and all of that stuff. <sighs> because I have to go to call in like an hour. So, you know, so much for my productive morning.
really don't like that I did not find the spider. Finished the show and I'm heading back to the van with a lot of trepidation in my heart because dear lord, I just, I just hope the spider is not in the van anymore. I do not uh, see any spider. I think we're good. This week, babe, I found a spider skin on this thing up here, and it was like oh, the scariest thing. And I, I stripped the van all the way bare looking for this spider, mm -hmm. and would you believe it? No spider around. I can't find the spider anywhere. Wait. Dead as a dead as a doornail. Oh man, I was watching it crawl behind you for so long, and you like, don't look back, don't look back, don't look back. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> it was just crawling on the wall. Yeah.